so this is the new x50 right um as i mentioned in the briefing just now we'll be doing some demonstrations of the new features mm -hmm. and some of the differences from the x70 that are improved with the x50 mm -hmm. okay um the main thing is, as, as they mentioned in that uh, presentation earlier, this is level 2 autonomous. means it will actually do quite a lot of things for you. So we've got the second car there, we're just using an X70 for the demonstration. So the X70 in front of us, he's actually going to change his speed and everything and we're actually going to use him to simulate a real life situation mm -hmm. where you have a car in front. So before we start, you can already see it in the graphic that the car is there. So oh. there. Yeah. So this graphic here has the car in front as well as the lines of the road. Right now we're in the middle of the track, there's no lines. Right, but once we actually go into the, we have our little simulation up there, we will have the lines and it will show up on the graphic. Okay. Now the differences, the main difference with the X50 is that it will do the steering for you. Right? Oh, yeah. So when you start to uh, veer towards one of the lines, mm -hmm. it will actually take over the steering and center it back for you. So that's the safety feature there as well. Also, it actually makes it quite comfortable to drive. Mm -hmm. You've got a long journey, whatever. Good Especially time. on highways where the corners are not too sharp, mm -hmm. it will actually turn the corners for you as well. Oh. Right? As long as the corner is not too sharp. If it senses that a corner is coming and it's quite far the radius that it can see, it will actually pre-warn you and say, this corner is a bit sharper. I think the radius is 240 degrees. Anything more than that, it will give you both audio and visual warning that you need to take control, right? It has a torque sensor in the steering, right? So it can actually sense whether your hand is there or not. Right, so if you take your hands off the wheel for too long, it will remind you, please put your hands on the wheel. Right, so it can actually sense the pressure of your, of your hands on the wheel. Still see the car in front, and I'll just set the See the car in front, you see that blue? Right now it is following the car in front, whatever the car in front does. As we start to come towards the lines, it will start to sense the lines, and you'll even get the graphic there. And you can see that the car in front is moving. Right? As he turns the corner, it's still sensing that as well. Yeah, I'm gonna need this. Yeah, <laughs> I 
the idea of level 2 that it has more features than the level 1 okay. makes driving a bit easier main difference between the level 1 and the level 2 is the camera up here so it uses two systems the radar on the front which has the X70 has as well mm -hmm. as level 1 uses radar to sense the distance and it gives you the AB and the forward collision warning as well as that uh, adaptive cruise control mm -hmm. but with the extra camera that's the advantage we get that it can come to a complete stop it can go through corners quite sharp corners oh. and it has more features that way 